Tell him to stop quiet. You make him be quiet. What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, DJ Sick Rick. And your girl, Martha. And we're here to do a little Funko Pop haul video. So, uh, by the looks of my shirt, I'm pretty sure you probably already guessed what category Let's we go. picked up today. Step it up, you runts. You infants, let's move. Why is it so hot in here? So, we have five brand new pops to go over. So, let's get started. The first pop I picked up is Florida Stanley. So, obviously, um, it's The Office. Uh, I actually just completed the line with the brand new pops that I picked up, so I'm super happy about that. Um, and we got an exclusive as well. So, let's go ahead and pop him open and see what he looks like. Now, if you guys are familiar with this run, um, there are messages inside the actual flaps of the box. So just like before, I'm going to go ahead and read it. And this one says, Florida Stanley smiles. Florida Stanley is happy to go to work. Florida Stanley is who you want on your Florida team. Now, if you guys remember, in this episode, Dwight Schrute is actually in charge of putting together people from the office uh, to create a team to, um, I think it's to open up some new branches in Florida, in Florida. Uh, and I want to say Tallahassee if I'm not mistaken um, so because Stanley has pretty much had enough of where he lives he Scranton. in Scranton he puts on his best Florida attire he's ready to do some business you can tell this pop is pretty detailed I like the way that he's holding his sunglasses oh sorry I forgot um Obviously, we got a new motorized turntable, and shout out to my friend Lehua. Um, thank you so much for always supporting our channel and making us look top notch. She also provided my last turntable, so this was a birthday present to me, and I just wanted to give a quick shout out. So, anyways, thank you so much. Um, but yeah, Florida Stanley looks super on point. Um, if you guys watch the episode, he is dressed exactly like this. Um, so, yeah, that's. Florida Stanley. How did a mosquito get in here? Anyways, moving on. So the next pop we have here is Meredith Palmer. And I like this episode because Meredith Palmer, um, she puts on a dress for a casual day that's super inappropriate. Um, you can tell that she's wearing a super itty bitty dress. And um, she has, <laughs> I just read the message, <laughs> and her message says, bunch of prudes. If, if you guys have seen this episode, you'll know, you'll understand why, and I like the fact that they pixelated her dress. Meredith, your boob is out. Uh, because um, obviously everybody has their own interpretation of what casual day for them is. And in this episode, um, I think, um, what's her face? Um, Dwight Schrute's uh, crush. What's her name? Oh. oh I can't God. remember. The girl with the blonde hair. Angela. Angela, thank you. So Angela's complaining to Toby that she doesn't want to see Oscar's... Um, she doesn't want to see Oscar's uh, toes because he's wearing sandals. The man is wearing sandals. I don't need to see Oscar's toes at work. Gross! Uh oh, I don't think she's able to really stand up on her own. So I'm just going to hold her here. Um, so she goes to complain to Toby that uh, she doesn't like looking at Oscar's toes. And he suggests, uh, well, don't look at his feet anymore. And of course, Angela's not happy with that answer. And then um, obviously looking at her dress, if you can tell her boob is pixelated because everybody is telling her. Uh, Toby comes up to her and tells her, um, do you mind pulling down your dress just a touch? because it's too short so while she pulls it down because it's showing too much of the bottom portion of her her boob ends up slipping out so I like the way that they pixelated her boob the way the same way that they did just in the episode and so they're all like oh my god pull your dress back up so then she pulls it up too much and then the bottom stuff her bottom goods show so damn it Meredith where are your panties it's casual day 
<laughs> um, so, yeah. Um, so it's they're trying to find a happy medium for Meredith. And um, that's when she says bunch of prudes when she bends over and you can see everything from the bottom. So that's Meredith. All right, next in line, speaking of casual day, the next pop I picked up was Kelly Kapoor. Now, if you guys remember this episode, she was the one who came in looking all snazzy, um, super hip, trying to be cool. And um, I want to say Erin was the one who compliments her dress attire, saying, uh, you look like J-Lo. I really love your outfit. Thank you so much for saying that. I can't believe that Toby thinks this is inappropriate. You look like J-Lo. And she was super feeling herself in this episode. Uh, so the message in this box says, I can't believe that Toby thinks this is inappropriate. Right after Aaron tells her, um, you know, you look like J-Lo and she does a little spin around. And then that's when she says that message. So, oh, and she actually came with a stand. I'm not sure why Meredith wouldn't have came with a stand because she does not stand up on her own. You sure your Meredith had a stand in the box? Oh my God. So Kelly Kapoor also comes with a stand. So let's check her out and see how she looks. And actually, she's going to be doing a spin around for you guys as well, just the same way that she did in the episode. Uh, I really like the detail on this pop. Uh, the pattern of her hat looks exactly like what she had on in the episode. And she does kind of have that uh, early 2000s J-Lo vibe to this um this uh what do you call it her not her costume <laughs> her, her her work attire. attire yeah her work attire for casual day um she's wearing her boots her jeans and then flash in the gold uh jewelry so you know i thought it looked good so i like this pop all right moving on to the next one so the next pop that we picked up was Dwight Schrute. You guys obviously know that there's a lot of different versions of Dwight Schrute. And this is the one where uh, Jim Halpert puts his um, stapler inside a Jello. It's the pilot episode. And it is, the, yes, it is the pilot episode. So let's pop open the flap and see what Dwight Schrute has to say. So he says... That's real professional. Thanks. This is the third time, and it wasn't funny the first two times either, Jim. So, typical Dwight, always butt hurt when he's the butt of the jokes. Um, but it's funny how him and Jim end up getting kind of uh, closer together um, because Jim Halpert likes to play into Dwight's conspiracy theories and his own ideas. So um, I thought it was kind of funny how Dwight Shrew kind of picks and chooses when these jokes and when he wants to get along with Jim and when it's really not that funny. So this is Dwight. And um, I remember that Jim Halpert ends up taking that same kind of prank idea that he plays in the office when he moves over to the Utica branch and nobody really enjoys his pranks they like vibe with them yeah they're not vibing with him they don't have uh, michael scott as a boss that's what yes. it is yes it's just a whole different vibe Although altogether their, their other boss was pretty cool though they were playing video games like. they were playing video games i was like really you guys can't take a joke but you're able to play uh what was it um call of duty was it Call of Duty? Mm. Yeah. And so Jim, so this is the funny thing about that is that Jim really, really sucks at actual video games, but he's really, really good at the uh, pranks that he plays on Dwight. And so far when he's, and so when he's in the Utica branch, everybody else is really good at playing the video games and they suck at taking jokes or pranks. They think it's immature. So anyways, that's why I think Jim uh, had kind of a rough time at uh, the Utica branch. So for our last and final pop, this is another Dwight Schrute and this is a Funko specialty series pop. So um, I love this pop uh, just because it's typical Dwight Schrute as are the other pops as well. Um, you can tell that during Halloween, uh, he has, that's when he uses or he puts on this Halloween suit and he's supposed to be the Sith Lord. 
Now I'm having a little bit of trouble opening up this box without damaging it. So I'm going to just pull out the pot from the bottom, but I do want to read the message that's inside. So, all right. So the message for this pop says, tell him not Dwight. Tell him to stop. Quiet, you. Make him be quiet. <laughs> I don't really remember who says that. It's a, Dwight that says, it's a quote that Dwight says. Really? Tell him, not Dwight. Tell him to stop. Quiet, you. Make him be quiet. <laughs> I think Wait. I have to rewatch the episode in order to capture the way I did Stanley's pretzel day. <laughs> um, pretzel day impression. So let's take out Dwight and see how good he looks. I love this pop already. So this is Dwight Schrute as the Sith Lord. Um, and I remember in this particular episode, uh, everyone is dressed in their Halloween costume. I remember Phyllis being a cat and she looks over at Dwight and says, who are you supposed to be a monk? What are you? A monk. And so Dwight Shrew doesn't take kindly to that statement. So he ends up just getting smart uh, with her because, and he pulls out his lightsaber, I guess, as well. So um, yeah, she wasn't. She kind of just rolled her eyes and didn't really pay much attention to him. But uh, that's the way Dwight Shrew is. So that was pretty much it for our Funko Pop haul. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Obviously, you guys know I'm a really big The Office fan. So um, picking up these last pops were uh, super important to me in completing this latest line uh, because I, I was kind of slipping, actually. And with the whole quarantine thing going on, we really didn't have uh, much of a chance to go pop hunting for a while. And actually, I'm not very sure how many more pop videos we'll be able to come up with because... Well, if anything, we could just do some old pops in yeah collection. we can do that because we have a ton of pops actually in our collection so we have plenty to choose from here as far as the new lines that are going to be coming out we're not too sure how easy it's going to be for us to pick up more pops because um california is unfortunately going into quarantine again uh but we will have more content coming soon for sure uh we have plenty of material to work with obviously as you can see behind me so i uh, hope you guys stay tuned hope you guys enjoy um we'll talk to you later hopefully more book readings oh yeah book readings you guys obviously like those so um feel free to leave any more comments on that video if you guys haven't seen it yet it's i hate fairyland um it's the 20 minute video trust me you guys won't be disappointed so please stop by check it out like it don't like it leave a comment uh any feedback is welcome believe me uh we could use it so hope you guys enjoyed take care and we'll talk to you soon bye